It's 007 Month here on End Credit Reviews. The final film of 007 Month is Spectre. Spectre is the fourth and possible last Bond movie with Daniel Craig. The reason why is that the film rights to the franchise is going to expire soon and getting rebooted is inevitable. But whoever gets cast in the next James Bond, I hope they bring back the gadgets and make it fun again. Especially after watching Kingsman, others like myself badly miss fun spy movies. But you didn't click on this video to hear me talk about the future, you want to know about the movie. After Bond receives a cryptic message, he investigates and discovers a secret organization named Spectre. The organization is led by a sinister man known as Obenhauser, played by Christoph Waltz. Along the way, he is accompanied by a new love interest named Madeline, played by Leia Sadu. I do think this should be the last of the Daniel Craig series because I don't know how they could top an evil organization like Spectre. The opening shot in Mexico City was amazing, and I can say the same for the special effects. Judging on the technical stuff, you could tell they had a lot of money to work with. In fact, it has been rumored that this could be the most expensive movie ever made. Aside from the technical stuff, the characters were really good too. With the ones we've seen before, I liked how people like Q, Moneypenny, and even M were actually doing a lot more than usual. With the new ones, Monica Bellucci has now the record for being the oldest actress to play a Bond girl. The record was held by Honor Blackman when she was in her late 30s in Goldfinger. Another Bond girl was Madeline Swan. She is the Bond girl that's been hyped up that she might be the one for Bond, but if she is or not, it's up to whether or not they make another one. The one character that steals the show is Christoph Waltz. This guy was born to be a Bond villain. Even though he was not in the movie that much, he is everything but forgettable. The last person I'm going to talk about is Mr. White, played by Jesper Christine, who was in some of the other Bond movies and was kind of like Agent Coulson from the Marvel Cinematic Universe as the glue. This movie not only surprised me about how well the dialogue was, but it had some funny moments as well. The issues I had with Spectre was the fact that it was kind of lengthy, the main villain didn't have much screen time, and the climax was a little disappointing. Is it better than Skyfall? Yes. Is it as awesome as Casino Royale? No. But I had a fun time, and it'd be a good note to end the Daniel Craig series on, if they choose to do so. I give Spectre 3 stars out of 4. So that's it for 007 month, I hope you enjoyed, and in several other months I'm going to be focusing on another iconic person.